Hey, hey friends. friends! So I'm here with Zoe and since Mental Health Awareness Month is coming to a close, we wanted to talk a bit about um, the connection with between our faith and our mental health experiences. We wanted to connect these two topics because not only are they like very important to both of us, um, but they also go hand in hand and they relate heavily to each other. Um, so Chandler, what have your experiences been with mental health and like your struggles and like how you feel your faith has grown stronger despite these struggles, yeah. etc. So I was a believer, um, but I didn't have a connection with God and I rarely read my Bible. Um, I struggled with a lot of anxiety and sadness throughout middle school, but I didn't really know how to identify it until I met Zoe, who really inspired me to gain like a connection with God um, because she said that her faith really helps her th um, process what she struggles with. And I didn't really start to get passionate about it until I went to an FCA camp, which is a Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Um, and it happened when I got hurt and I had to sit out on the bleachers. I was so bored and I had my Bible beside me and I just decided to pick it up and start reading it. Um, I, it was then that I learned that I absolutely love reading my Bible, not only because I feel at peace um, when I read, but because I just love the stories that are told and it really helped me um, just come to the realization that I am capable of doing incredible things despite what I go through. And even though I got hurt, I'm so grateful for the time that I spent because it was God telling me that I needed to spend more time with him. And so now when I feel down, I just open up my Bible and read and it helps me feel at peace and connected with him. And I know that he's with me 100% of the time, whether I see it or not. Absolutely. I love that so much. And I love what you said about um, like finding peace in the word because I'm the same way. Whenever I feel empty or like I, I'm feeling this like depravity that like I don't know where it's coming from, um, it's ultimately this underlying need to spend more time with him. Um, so I'm gonna try to keep this concise because I'm really bad at like saying things about rambling. But I've experienced anxiety all my life. And I was always this super neurotic kid with paranoia about literally everything. Um, I just didn't know what it was. I didn't know that it had a name, um, any of that. Like you, I've always identified as a Christian, but I didn't really understand any of it and I wasn't close to him. Um, but I truly found him the first time I went to Camp Willow Run in summer of 2015. And I experienced my first real like awakening moment. Um, I still experience those constantly, but that was my first one. Um, and this was when I saw Christ's presence so beautifully and so strong in all the young people around me, um, including my counselor who helped me accept him. And it was around this time that I also realized that what I was experiencing in my brain had a name and um, I needed some extra help to process and understand it. So I went to see a counselor who shares my faith and she helped me be a little less afraid to discuss it with people I trust. Um, and even just talking about it helps so much. Uh, I still experience ups and downs constantly, some much more drastic than others. And I take medication for it, but that's okay because I know where my foundation stands. So for those watching, how do you and I know that our foundation is true? Yeah, so for me, even just realizing that Jesus was fully human at the same time as being fully divine helped clear a lot of the air. Um, he wept, he pleaded, he knew sadness and he knew pain and he knew stress so intense that um, the night before he died, it said that he sweat blood. Um, in Psalm 103, 14, it says he shares our nature and he knows our frame. Um, meaning he understands our weaknesses and our struggles from the inside out because he experienced them too. Um, our pain touches the nerves of his heart and realizing that he is able to sympathize with our weaknesses because it's written in the source material is huge. Yes, totally. That itself helped me realize that I'm not alone in my struggles. What I feel isn't abnormal or weird. So many people struggle with anxiety and to know that someone I look up to the most struggled as well helps me feel so much better and the book of Philippians is always something that I refer to when I'm down because it's the book of joy and purpose 
Paul writes that storms lead to better outcomes. He was in jail, but he was helping other people become um, get closer to God. <laughs> so and every time I think of my purpose, I just can't help but smile because I'm doing what God has called me to do. I'm encouraging and inspiring others. And this world and my anxiety has nothing over me because I'm doing what God, I'm pleasing God and doing what he's called me to do. And that's the best thing that I could ask of myself. Yes, I love that so much. Um, there are so many just good pieces of knowledge to be found um, in the word. I especially love Romans chapter eight because it describes Christ as like knowing the depths of our hearts, but still loving us the same. Um, that nothing, absolutely nothing, in all of creation can separate us from him and his love because of what he did on the cross. Mm -hmm. And it's just reminders like that, that I can read over and over again and some, get something new from them each time um, that helped me so much. So with that being said, what kind of wisdom would you have to offer for people that are watching? So I just wanted to bring up um, the hesitance that a lot of believers and or non-believers have when it comes to reading the word. Some people um, think that like reading in general sounds boring and I would just encourage watchers to try and read a little like every day just to start. Um, I had the same thoughts at first uh, but once I started to gradually read a bit more I really started to enjoy it. I learned something about myself every single time I open the Bible. Like it's crazy and I love that. <laughs> And when I feel uncertain, I remind myself that God loves us enough to literally give us a manual of how to do life on this earth. It has all the answers, and the Bible apps are also very helpful. So if you're hesitant, my advice is to just find a story you're interested in and dive right in. I completely agree, and it might take a little bit of motivation at first, yeah. um, but people like us are working to provide the help that you might need to get started. Um, even just starting with a verse, just a couple words, or even a tiny prayer that he'll set you on the right path because he's for you and he's not against you and you are loved beyond measure. Absolutely. So this video is a part of my mental health awareness series on my blog, Words by Chan. You can find it at wordsbychan.net. Zoe appears pretty often and she will continue to appear, um, but you can find her on her Instagram, YouTube, and all music platforms because she is so, so gifted um, under Zoe McGill. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye! <laughs>